Hi guys, Troy back again with another block cut. So yet again, another client who can't make it to us all the time. So what we do is we cut them in on this block, get it all cut in, right shape, right size, right length, everything we do. And then we send it out to him pre-taped, ready for him just to attach however he sees fit. So what we're gonna do yet again, we're gonna start with the back. And we're gonna do slightly. And down just to get a little bit of moisture into the hair before we brush it out. Sorry about the little bit, you might hear me coughing a little bit. I've just had a week off of a bit of a chest infection. So unfortunately I've still got the remnants. So what we're gonna do there, take a section of around about an inch long, an inch long, an inch thick. And I'm gonna pin this up. And come down the back section again. I was using a razor at the back. So I'm trying to get it a bit closer. And knowing that this client wants it around about two inches long. Start trimming it with the razor. Always give it a nice textured finish before you even start. You don't have to go round, keep chipping into it and texturizing it more and more and more. You can literally get a very good bit of texture pretty much straight away. So that's going to give me the line of where I'm going to roughly cut the hair all the way around. So then what we do, drop the hair down, take another section, drop it down over the top, put it in the spray again, and then using that underneath section, just going to re-razor this hair just sitting on top. So basically, as you go, the layers always end up roughly the same thing. So when that's dry, we pick it up and we start chipping into it a little bit through the top sections. It will sit nice and textured all the way through. Right then, so I've done the back and I've done one of the sides. So what I'm going to do now is do the other side just to show you what it's like. I'm going to add a little bit of water. So what I'm going to do, same principle here. Razor cutting that edge just around the two inch mark just to give myself a good base one to follow making sure that when we are doing it what we've got to make sure we do is make sure we blend into the back section obviously and then take another section Doing that into the front section, but obviously we're not going to cut into this fringe because we want to make sure the fringe is slightly longer, maybe a little bit, just because he wears it off to the side. So we want to make sure that we can get enough sweep in it to go across. And then I'll show you some more when we get to the front and the top. So what I'm going to do now, in fact I've run out of water, so I'm now going to use a little bit of conditioner. Just a light leading conditioner, we definitely recommend this product for everyone. It comes here, or actually doesn't, Yulgan, best one on the market. I've used loads, this is definitely the best one I've ever found. Um, very hard to come by, uh, but we do sell it online, so I'll make sure you do check if you're running out. So what I'm going to do, take the section again. So I'm going to carry on going through doing this all the way to the front and then when we get to the front I'll show you again and get the hair up so you can see the hairline. Right then, so I've cut a little bit off the length of the fringe just so I can actually see, <laughs> see a bit better where I am, right? So now I'm still going to just chip into this front section as we go in, make sure I blend all the sections in. So what we're doing by doing this is 
lifting up each section and using the back section to bring the next section in. What I'm going to do is keep chipping it in. And then once it's a tiny bit shorter than that at the front, so I'm just going to take a bit more length out. So now what I'm doing is just blending all the sections in. And then in a minute, I'll show you exactly how it looks when it's all dried and thin it. Well, not dried, but just brushing through, showing you what the finished product looks like. So there we go. That is pretty much the finished product. And I'm just now going to show you how good. Ooh, we need to get it in the camera, it might help. How good our hairlines do look and how natural they look, even on a block with just a bit of tape. You can just see the lace is just fantastic. So yeah, so that is yet again, another block ink cut done, ready to go out to the gentleman who will be wearing this probably come the end of this week.